In the last video, we saw how the typical floor plan was prepared. Now, here you can also check your complete data. Suppose if I go and click on this icon and if I say show me the total load. So program will show you how much is the total load on each slab. Say, suppose if I want to see all the loads on beam. So I can just go to beam. Say I said uh, UDL. So it shows me how much load is. And suppose if these two figures get uh, merged into each other, then you can switch off column. Then I said switch off. Don't show me anything in column. So you can clearly see the load on in each beam. Now suppose, for example, here there is a parapet only. Ball is going for only one meter. So now what I can do, just go here, select the beam, this, this, this. And I said assign the load. And here on UDL, I said there is a freestanding wall of one meter. There is a free standing wall of one meter. I said, okay. Okay. So here loading will get changed. So this way, even after making, if you want to change some loading, you can do it easily. So I said, run this and save this file. I said, file, save. Now, next what I want to do is create plane plan, uh, ground uh, plane plan from this plan. So I said file, save as, and I save this file as a plinth. Now suppose on the plinth, all the slaves are resting on the ground except for the this staircase. So what I'll do, I say slave data, select all, and again I'll go here and deselect this staircase, these two. And I'll say right click and I'll say delete selection. So it tells me that this is what you're going to delete. I said okay. So only these two remains. Then again I say run. So it told, tells me how much is the total load acting and I said okay. And I say file save. So now I have saved the file for the plinth level. Now I want to create a roof level. So I say file, open, typical. <coughs> then I just go here and in tools I'll say, uh, sorry, design parameter. I'll say this is my roof level. I said okay. Now on the roof, there are only wall on the parapet. So what I'll do, I'll just go to beam and I say select external beam. So it is selected external beam. Only thing if you see, this beam is taken as an internal beam because part is. So how to give load on this, we'll see. So now these are my all the external beam. Now I want to give loading on this beam and I'm taking one meter height parameter, uh, parapet wall. So I'll just say assign. I said UDL. And I'm saying there's a parapet wall of one meter and rest is okay. Okay. So now if you see on all the parapet load has come as 8.792. And I'm switching off this column so you can see it clearly. Now on the internal beam, there are only self -aid. So what I'm going to do is I said beam data select internal beam and on internal beam I'm just going to give only self it So I click on UDL and I said take only self it Okay. So now you can see on external load is 8.795 internal it is 2.8 <laughs> Now on this beam huh? so first I'll say beam data unselect all Select, unselect all. Now, only in this part, there is a wall load. So, how do I give the wage load? So, self-aid has already been given. 
Now what I'll do to find out how much extra weight load is required, I click on this and I said property. I click on loading. So now suppose if I switch off self weight because it is already given. And if I take consider my load, so it is 4.48. This is the load due to wall. So I said, okay, fine. Huh? So I re remember this figure 4.48. Now what I'll do, I click on this beam and say property and here there is something called wage load. So I say W1. Now starting point of beam is always bottom and this is top point. So here what I'll do from this point to this point, I want to give load of 4.48. So I say distance, click on this and click on this point. So automatically it tells it's starting distance and length of the load, I click on this. So it is 1.15 and the load is 4.48 and I can say control C and control V. So the weight load has been assigned to this B. Now to see this, I just go here B1 and I said show me the wage load. So here there is option uh, wage point load. So here I see there is a wage point load of this. Now this load I want to copy on this beam. So I just right click here and say copy wage load. And here again I said paste wage load. So this load is done. Now similarly for this beam at this point I want to give wage load. So what I will do I just go here again and I said property. Now for this beam, this is a starting point. So suppose I'm giving wage load as a W1. And starting distance, I click on this. And for length of the load, I click on this. It is taken. And I have already stored that value, 4.48. So I say copy paste. Okay. So this wage load is also C. Now coming back to then again, I'll say property. Uh, uh, sorry, as a copy wage load and copy into paste wage load. So the so this way I can even give on the beam wage load and all that. Now coming back to again I said show me the UDL. <coughs> now even for the this beam there is a on this beam, only this is a wall load and this is a self fit. So I am using the same procedure. I will just go here, right click, property. I say property, uh, property. And then here I say wage load W1. In the distance, here distance is 0. Length of the load, I click here. So it is 1.15. So it is automatically find out this length. And then starting intensity, I said control V, control V. Okay. Now, if I go here and see the wage load. So here this is the wage load. So means this is a wall load. Now, by the same method, I say copy wage load and copy into this. Paste. Paste wage load. Now, similarly, I want to give a part wall load here. So again, I just click right click. I said property. And here again, I said it is W1. And from this point to this point, so I go to distance, click on this. So it has worked out this from distance from here it is 3.65. Length of the load is this. Then copy this weight load. Control V, control V, okay. So this was a, and now again I'll say copy weight load, paste the weight load, paste the weight load. So this way your this data is over and I say save this file as a terrace. Terrace. Save. Okay. Then I say run. So it tells me how much is the load and I can check symmetry 47. 47, 20, 20. Now suppose if I go to this beam and I said right click and I said show me the 
Yeah. Okay, load analysis. So it shows me that beside the load, there is a wage load here. Okay. And here from this beam, the right reaction is 57.912. And from this beam, it is 14.4. .4. Now if I click on this, and I say load analysis. So I get 57 and 14. So basically the base part about this, that at every stage, you can check your loading. 